tough time trying to convince my mom to let me keep a snake because i don't know about y'all mom my mom she don't like a fish y'all have no reason to be scared of snakes man a few moments later this thing really could potentially kill me no, maybe she might at me for a little bit sometimes i'll live you yeah. man we call a proper teacher, bro this guy who's trying to kill me right here what's good y'all welcome back to another video man i'm jay aka the goat himself AKA Hemothy Jones. If y'all didn't know, now you know. So today is Saturday, and it ain't just any old regular Saturday for us over here, man. It's Scaly Saturday. And for y'all that don't know, our local pet store, the first Saturday of every month, they host this little event uh, where people in the community can come bring their animals, you know, share it with the churn, you know, because people like, damn, I got something wrong, huh? Share it with the churn, you know, because people like to see the animals, you know, people be bringing snakes, all type of stuff, you know, in their collection. Um, and it's a really good time, man. We can see a whole lot of different things, talk to different people, meet new people, connections, this, that, and the third. So, yeah, man, that's what we got going on today. Now, we don't just pull up empty handed, because if y'all was tuned in for the last video, we told y'all that we got four snakes ourselves. So, we're going to bring two of our own little buddies with us. We're going to bring Rico and we're going to bring Euphoria. We like to, you know, kind of showcase our animals too. It's a little cool, nice little vibe, man. So, these are our four babies right here. We finna pack up, like I said, Rico and Euphoria. We're gonna show y'all these two. We're kinda late, so I'm gonna try to, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know how black people show up fast when we late to everything. But don't mind that, we got a little bit of clean up, you know what I'm saying? They use the bathroom just like we do. So, but yeah, we are gonna bring Rico, Colombian red tail boy. Look at him, y'all. Beautiful. And then we got Euphoria. Watch this. Just, let me just show y'all the personality on this girl. As soon as I open this, watch this. Look who's waiting for me. Look, already. Like, look at her. Just active, ready to go. She's like, yo, who is this? Maybe she might strike at me for a little, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're going to be bringing these two. I'm going to catch y'all in the next clip because as you know who I'm dealing with, and it's spicy here, I got to be on my P's and Q's. <laughs> and so let me get back with y'all. I'm back. Sorry for that quick intermission. But as y'all can see, we got the snakes safely loaded up and pillowcases right now. Yes, they're perfectly safe. Don't worry about it. I know what I'm doing. So yeah, we about to head out. Got the wifey with us. Say what up. Hey. Yes, sir. Y'all already know we got JT back with us, man. It's his last day before he go back home, so. What up, what up? What up, man? You know what we finna do. So yeah, we'll see y'all back in the car, man. We are not taking the wide body today. Like I said, gas is expensive when you start driving that mug. I'll give y'all a quick co-start though. Y'all wanna hear a co-start? Yeah, we wanna hear a co-start. I got you. All right, look, before we, <laughs> before we take the little Sonata today. Look at that. Uh -uh. I'll let y'all hear that motherfucker. Hold on, let's go to a closer. Ooh! My God. Y'all hear that, man? Just like... Oh, my God. Anyway, they all... They waiting on me and shit. No, like, you just gonna leave the car running? No, it's a 2020. I can just click it again. And it cut off. <laughs> little flex, little flex, little flex. Let's that. Anyway, let's go, man. It's gonna be late. We're already late. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard. We're an hour and a half late. Like I said, black people show up fashionably late to everything. I mean, it's, so it's okay. until five, so. Hopefully, man, when we get there, we can try to still squeeze in some nice stuff for y'all. So today's Saturday. Saturday. Which means yesterday was Friday. Friday. Which means I dropped a video yesterday. Yeah. So let me know how y'all like that video. Did you watch it? I watched it. I watched it like five times. Would you like five times? That's crazy. <laughs> if you didn't watch it five times, what are you doing? <laughs> JT, you watched the video, right? Oh yeah, bro. I how, it. I how, how you think? Was it good? Oh yeah. Yeah. What was the highlight? What was the highlight? What you like the most? The highlight. What's the cuts? The, the outro. The cuts, the outro. All right, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all like, what y'all didn't like. Uh, so we can help each other out on this road, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be entertaining for y'all. So <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all like. He said he liked the edits and all that good stuff. I did like the edits personally. The little. Ah! <laughs> that was fun. So yeah. yeah. What you like about what you like about the video, there? I like everything. 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 Good answer. Yeah. All right. So yeah, man first video but i really felt good about that i'm learning how to edit and all that good stuff my good friend man he's a goat bro he's Hi. showing me how to edit and all that good stuff so as y'all progressively see these vlogs y'all will progressively see the edits get better um yeah man we're growing together so progress not perfection progression not perfection progress not perfection i like mine better it flowed better the Whatever. progression not perfection, what would you say? Progress, not perfection. Yeah, my syllables, it, it flowed a lot better. That sound look kind of good. 
we're back so as y'all can see we're at pet world which is where scaly saturday is gonna be at today so let me take y'all back down a little memory lane real quick right i got my first snake where it all started for me probably like almost 10 years ago somewhere around then and it was a corn snake i got it from my sister because okay a little a little baby rt we hear it could be louder though but you know then it ain't loud it ain't louder than my car Anyway though, she was truck driving. She was always on the road, so she couldn't really uh, look after it that much. So she gave it to me and that was a tough time trying to convince my mom to let me keep a snake. Cause I don't know about y'all mom. My mom, she don't like a fish, but I fell in love with him. And ever since then, I always knew I had to have snakes, man. So fast forward to now, I got my own crib, got my own life, got my own wife. We had eight, like I said, now we got four and they're just always gonna be a part of me, man. So. Yeah, that's a little quick story time. And why your boy got snakes, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks so, for being this halfway. You? We're good. Yeah. No, nah, we didn't bring the charger out today. We got the, got the baby car. How you doing, Miss Cherie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Glad today. you're coming out to Scaly Saturday. Of course. You know, we couldn't miss it. Absolutely. Man, they take care of us. Every time we come here, we're like family. Walking, yeah, no, pick it, pick it. That's what we do. Every time we come here, we gotta pick it. What we got here? What we got here? What is that? Little puppy. Little puppy. That's the animal today. We got Rico here. Colombian red tail bow. Look at that guy. Man. He is, he is gorgeous. Ooh, look at that girl there. This is a retail reticulated python euphoria. Look at her. She's so active. Man. We've had Euphoria, uh, she's about, I wanna say like six-ish months, maybe seven months. And we've had Rico for over a year, maybe about two years. So for all who don't know what a reticulated python is, it's the longest breed snake in the world. She's gonna be like at least about 18 to 20 maybe, maybe more, depending on how we feed her. It's a lot of factors. Then we got Rico. Rico is everybody's fan favorite. Colombian red tail bull. I mean, this guy, as you can see, he just be chilling. They're really strong. He's like wrapped around everything because they're semi-arboreal animals, which means they spend a lot of their time up in the trees, up high, not on the ground. So as you can see, that kind of replicates how he's all, you know, kind of tied up like I'm a branch or something. Who we got here? Look at this big old girl. Yes, yes. She got a name? Big Mama. Big Mama. That is true indeed. Yes. <laughs> so they actually, they're both Colombians. This guy who's trying to kill me right here. Same snake, but you can see the difference. Look how huge that one is. Look how small this one is. How old is she? Eight years old. Eight years old. How long do they live? For the people who don't know. It depends. It depends on care. Right. You take care of her, she can last. 30 years. Sometimes I'll leave you. Yeah, that is crazy. Yo, look at the difference. Yo, I love seeing bigger Colombians because I can't wait till Rico gets that size. Look at how gigantic this girl is. How long do you think she is? She's about six foot long. Six foot long. Yeah. Roughly six foot long. Yeah. And it's just a beast. Like that girl is thick. I can't even put my hand around her. What? What is she eating? She's on large once a month. Probably can eat jumbos, but try to keep her waist right. reasonable. Right, you don't want her to get obese and all that. Nah, not that is the thing. You cannot overfeed your snake. You got to have them at a healthy weight somewhere that's kind of close to where they would be in the wild, which is recommended, but not everybody does that, you know. But exactly. For sure. This way they'll really live a lot longer. Exactly. You protect the animal. Yeah. Rico, you finna be that big soon, man. We actually got Rico here at our first Scaly Saturday. We was sitting right over there where they got all the other animals are, which we'll show you in a sec. What we got here? What we got here? This is the Louisiana pine. Louisiana who? Louisiana pine snake. Okay, okay. Picture of this root and I. It's one of the rarest species in the U.S., especially in the wild, where there are fewer than a thousand animals in the wild in their real? native range. Wow. They're a federally protected species to which to get by them across state lines takes a federal permit. This is an animal that doesn't see very much in the way of attention in my collection. It spends most of its time essentially underground hiding and burrowing. So when you come here, you learn a lot because I did not know that. 
This is some of the cool stuff you see when you come here, man. Some really rare animals. You'll notice like every animal in here has a name. These are like family, man. They're family. Exactly. They're more than pets, more than just snakes. They all have names. They all got stories. Hold up. You want to tell us what we got here? We have a Ryan. Ryan, yeah, with the carpet python. Carpet python. Look at that guy there. Ryan the carpet python. Let's keep it pushing. They got a whole bunch of stuff. They got like I would say the arachnids, if that's the correct term. Spiders, all that good stuff over here. Scorpions. Don't mess with them, yo. Y'all got me messed up. Oh yeah, you can move. You can move away, buddy. They got turtles, lizards, geckos, all types of good stuff. If y'all are into those type of things, this is where we start getting into the snakes, which is why we're here. Oh yeah, look at all of these beautiful ball pythons, yo. If you're not familiar yet, ball pythons, I look at them as like art. Like they come in all different colors, all different morphs. As you can see, cinnamon black pastel, they got hot orange stream highs. Like it's really a whole community. They're really dope animals, very misunderstood by people who don't know how to take care of them. But as you can see, it's like everybody's holding a snake in here, man. Like none of those snakes are biting anybody. All right, good stuff. You say you don't like snakes, bud? Why not? Because I don't mean it. Oh, it's okay. Are you scared of them? Yes. They're friendly. Yeah, he's not gonna hurt you at all. He has a mustache. You wanna see? You wanna see? Yeah. You can pet him. Hello. You can touch him. You can touch him. See, that man just unlocked the new fear. See, there's nothing to be scared about. Oh, yeah, see? How smooth it is. Yeah. Yeah. What? Look, if you look at his face, he has a mustache. Yeah, he has a mustache. What kind of snake is he? He's a Colombian red tail boa. Oh. Nice to meet Rico, bro. <laughs> There's a snake in the guy's hand and he's sticking his tongue in him. <laughs> oh my god, yo, why it is hilarious. <laughs> I just smacked him with my fingers. Did you? <laughs> like, he unlocked. Remember his name? Uh, what is it? What? What's, what's the snake's name? Rico. There you go. <laughs> Mommy, do you want to talk to you? Yeah, I'll talk to you. Okay. <laughs> See, I told y'all, Rico's everybody's favorite. It's He's the most cool. It's the snake we got. But why is he sticking his tongue in? That's how they <laughs> smell. And scent. Scent. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Hey, man, Rico will probably eat you, bro. As y'all can see, there's all types of people here. We got people that uh, have 12 animals in the collection. And we got people ranging from people that don't even like snakes, man. So that's what I like to do, man. As you can see, Wyatt over there, my good friend Wyatt, y'all just met. He just unlocked a new fear. Y'all have no reason to be scared of snakes, man. I'm Morgan, and I have an Asian vine snake here. Oh, my God. Look how crazy that thing is. Look how small he is. He's very little. He eats um, lizards and owls, long-tailed lizards, things like that. We have that is nuts. a Western hognose. So this is Benny. Benny. Okay, look at that guy. My Western hognose really pretty on the underside. I love his underbelly. Right, that's crazy. So these two are both technically venomous. The rear fang venomous. <laughs> Let me back up. <laughs> um, the likeliness of them doing anything to you is very slim. It would feel like a bee sting, if anything. Um, they have to start swallowing you for venom to get inside. So it takes a bit. Oh, wow. That's They start interesting. swallowing when the food's still alive. So that's fun. Wow. And very then here I have a Brazilian black woolly tarantula. Oh, absolutely not. See, this is where my, this is where I step back because we don't do spiders, yo. Oh, clips. What? Crickets mostly. Y'all see this right now? You're a little bit crazy. <laughs> you, <laughs> I thought I was crazy, but no, this is nuts. I have another tarantula at home and two more snakes at home. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, you can put him back up. <laughs> Thank you. And that is all I have today with me. I appreciate that. Absolutely. That's crazy. No problem. How many do you have in your collection? Uh, four snakes, two tarantulas, and plan on getting another python from here in a few weeks. Wow. Put on this. Look at that guy over there. Yo, look. This is literally like 
climbing a tree right now. Like, this is literally crazy. Y'all saw how cool that was? How satisfying that was? Let me know what was y'all favorite thing y'all saw today at Scaly Saturday. Was it one of our little, our family members? Was it big old Colombian red tail he got over there? Was it the vine snake? Y'all let me know, man, what y'all like. This is a big girl. Big mama for show. Holy. This thing really could potentially kill me. No, I'm lying, I'm lying. Yo. <laughs> Yo, half of them are already like scared of snakes. I just said it's gonna kill me. Yo, this is you. Look at this girl. This is like a mini Mike Tyson. This girl is a oh, mini oh, Mike Tyson. Sure. <laughs> Holy. So these saddles they got on their back, they're called saddles, right? They grow with the snake. So they actually, of course, they get bigger, uh, but they don't change. So when the snake's small, the saddles are small, and as they get bigger, the saddles grow with them. I think that's like the most coolest thing about these guys, man. So on Rico, his saddles are gonna grow just with him, just as big as this one will. Look at the tail. Yeah, that's where they get their name from, the red tail boa. Evolution has it that these guys, they come from rainforest, right? So why would, in a rainforest that's all brown and green, right, because of the trees and all that good stuff, why would they have a red tail, you might say? They use it to their advantage with the red tail because small animals come around, they might think that it's a berry, they might think it's a little strawberry. Really and truly, it's this. And yeah, it don't really work out too well for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, back up, you got her straight, back up. <laughs> Thank you for that. You are Just picked up our snake food. There were no animals that were harmed in the making of this video. These are frozen rats. We're gonna be feeding Lucy and we're gonna be feeding Rico today. So y'all be able to see that. First feeding on Jay's World. Get a New York size rat. Like, bro, what is you doing, folk? You big as heck, bro. Oh, snap. Yeah, that rat big enough to be paying somebody rent for real. Yeah, let me go ahead, walk up out of them up. Ratatouille. Anyway though, see y'all back at the crib. What's up, y'all? So as y'all can see, we made it back home. While we're on the topic of animals, right? We got two more animals here. We got a cat and a dog. All right, I'm gonna show y'all them real quick. Here's Stormy, it's the cat. Stormy, all right. Look at how, let's just take a minute to look at how big she is. All right, built like a sack of potatoes. All right, like, girl, you look, no, don't look at me. Like, oh, snap. <laughs> you must've lost your mind, Stormy. All right, if I put you back out there with the street cats. All right, I guess she didn't like that. So that's Stormy. You, she, she ain't like that. Yeah, you better get out of here. And then this is Apollo. Apollo. It's a mini Aussie, if y'all couldn't recognize him. Sit. This is our other crackhead. He's actually a show dog, right? You wanna show them a few tricks, Apollo? All right, sit. Oh, okay. You're getting ahead of yourself. That's down. Ah, right, sit. Spin. Good boy. Sit. That's down, but that's cool. Ah, sit, paw, good paw. So we got four snakes, a dog and a cat. Yeah, man, that's a little bit of our crazy household over here. What's good, y'all, man? It's the moment y'all been waiting for. About to feed two of these snakes. First time on the channel. So if you don't want to see this, this is where the video ends for you respectfully. Like I said before, there was no animals that was harmed in the making of this video. These rats that I'm using today were already frozen thawed. So let's talk about feedings first, right? That's why snakes are cool. This is one of the biggest reasons I love snakes, right? Because depending on the size of your snake, like you can actually get away with feeding them uh, for like maybe a week, two weeks, three weeks. And the, the bigger they get, you can get away with feeding them for maybe like a month or so at a time, right? And why is because snakes have slow metabolisms, right? So snakes that are in captivity usually, they're not really moving a lot as they would be in the wild. So it takes them a lot longer to process that meal, which means at the end of the day, you don't really have to feed them that much, right? So it's really cool compared to like a dog, a cat, a fish. You gotta feed those things every day. So of course y'all seeing this girl, Euphoria. Look, you see how she's so on point? Now you gotta, you gotta really approach her a little differently cause you see how, this is crazy how she's ready to go just like that. This is one we didn't take to Scary Saturday today. This is Venus. He's a super fire ball python. So we got two ball pythons. We have one Colombian red tail and we have a retic in the collection right now. Of course, this is Rico. This is the other ball python. This is Lucy. And yeah, this is a hefty girl. Look at that, compared to my hand, she is humongous. 
Uh, yeah, this is going to be their next setup that we're going to be building pretty soon um, to give them more space, more enrichment, more all that good stuff, you know, since they are growing animals. And once they outgrow these, then we'll be getting something bigger. The moment y'all been waiting for, right? And I will, again, again, I would say, if you don't want to see this feeding, this is where you click off because this is not meant for you. All right, and the people that want to see it, grab your popcorn. So we got the first rat here for Lucy. It's been about a month for her. So she gets the big boy, she, she'll take. Now watch this, this never gets old, y'all. I've been, I've been keeping snakes for about six or seven years and the feedings is always the coolest part to me. It's the way these animals eat. Let's see if she'll take, come on. There we go. How remarkable is that, yo? That's so cool. And then we got Rico next. Got this bad boy here. Hungry, buddy? So as you can see, once they're done restricting it, right, they make their way to their head because they have to eat them head first. They find their way to their head. And once they do, their bottom jaws unhinge and they pretty much walk down the animal until they're done, in a sense, which is the coolest thing ever, yo. So you can see the two jaws unhinge, right? From the bottom, it's like one point and two points, just like that, they kind of open up and you can see him, look at that, see him walk down, like that's the coolest thing ever, walk down, it's like he's moving his jaw individually. Look at that. Bro, that is insane. Well, y'all, that's the end of today's video, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in with me today. I learned some things. Y'all learned some things, yo. Comment on this video if you learned something new that you didn't know before you clicked this video about snakes, man. Y'all lying if y'all tell me y'all ain't learned one thing. Y'all lying, bro. Don't lie to me. Let me know what y'all want to see. If y'all like the snakes, man, let me know so I can bring the snakes back on there. If y'all want to do a little bit more in-depth of these guys over here, man, y'all let me know y'all talking to me, man. I'll see y'all next week, man. Yo.